Hey Jason, well, this is it. This is your last Sunday. This is your last day on staff. And I have to admit it is a surreal moment to think that you will no longer be in our day-to-day -day, uh, meetings and planning and vision casting and all of the things that you were a part of knowing that you will be moving on to something else. And I know that it's gonna be a great adventure and an exciting part of your journey and I'm really excited for you. And I just wanted to take this opportunity like so many others to thank you. Just thank you for all of the years that you have inspired me and encouraged me for all of the kindness and for all the guidance that you've pro provided me along the way. I would not be the person, I would not be the pastor I am today if it were not for you. And so thank you for all of that. All of us here at The Heart, though we are sad to see you go, we're also so grateful for what you have given us over the 12 years that you have been on staff. All of the many ideas and concepts and the ways that you've made God very real to so, so many of us. And really, the ways that you have been able to share something unique and special about God that maybe we didn't know before or maybe we had forgotten long ago. It's been a really, really wonderful uh, opportunity to sit under your teaching. And so we've put together this highlight reel, I guess you could call it, uh, a video compilation of some of your, your profound words some of your profound concepts, the ways that you were able to um, use the spoken word to speak truth and life into us. And so I hope that you enjoy this, uh, just this short compilation. I hope that it brings back many fond memories and uh, through the, maybe through the tears and the laughter, you'll be reminded of just what uh, a special time this has been in your life as much as it has been in ours. And so enjoy, and again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all that you are and for all that you mean to us. The name Jason is thought to have both Hebrew and Greek origins. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Jason. The name Jason simply means a healer. And I noticed that there are a lot of people that feel connected to God, but feel very disconnected to church families, and it broke my heart. And, and I felt a really deep sense of calling, a missional calling to downtown Boone. And I want to see us redeem the word organization. Organization organizes the organic for the sake of the organism. The difference is it's about life. The difference is it's about connecting people together. Jason reminded us of the simplicity of the gospel message, a message of healing. He who is totally whole, he who is a perfect reflection of the Father, he who had never sinned. It doesn't say that he came and looked upon our brokenness and said, it's okay that you're broken. I forgive you. That's not what it says. He doesn't look at us and say, even though you're a sinner, it's okay. Even though you're guilty, it's okay. That's not what the scriptures say. The scriptures say that he who had no sin became sin. So that we might become the righteousness of God. Jason made sure that those most in need of this simple message of healing heard it clearly. 
And so even if you're sitting here and you feel broken, and you feel like you haven't done enough, or you feel like there's no way you could ever earn it, it doesn't actually matter because the exchange has been made and it is finished. This would be the region where Jesus began his ministry, the place where the outsiders lived. Could it be that Jesus, when he wanted to start his ministry, he wanted to go to the outsiders, letting them know that they are outsiders no longer? And of course, Jason poured his talent and creativity into this task of teaching and healing through God's Word. People float in it because of its natural buoyancy. What is heaven? Or where is heaven? Am I in heaven now? And I don't mean literally. He would go through great lengths to make the teachings of Jesus come alive. It sees no defect because of the substitute sacrifice of his, of his son, the Passover lamb, Jesus. Jason has engaged us in so many ways, and in doing so, built community. When you only receive and never give, things die. When we celebrate Passover or have communion, with our friends, our families. We're remembering the suffering of slavery, but we're also remembering the sweetness of freedom. Now when I'm having a meal with my friends, I look around the room and I think this is so much more than I thought it could be. I will sing to the Lord every day of my life. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. May my meditation be pleasing to him as I rejoice in him. Amen. Not only did he remind us who God is, he reminded us who we are. You're the miracle. You're the rededication. You're the temple. So how do you want to spend your life? How do you want to spend your money? How do you want to spend your very selves? The God who made you in his image wants you to spend yourself on him. You, st you still have value in the currency. You're still completely worth everything you've always been worth, namely everything, right? Because that's what he paid for you. We need to believe that all people are made in the image of God. But have we gotten so tame that we think we're supposed to just have our programs and have our facilities and just read stories and study original Greek words about how we used to treat one another this way. And so much is stopped now and there's so much unknown of the future. Will we be fully present in this time of hiddenness when we do not know so many things. And he reminded us to rest in that and to rest in God. But when you repent and you, and you sit and you rest, listen, this is very simple, but it is very strong. When you finally stop running, you don't have to run anymore. Always trying to find the common ground we have an opportunity as a community to walk in this way, to walk in the way of the heart, which is being willing to enter into the space of the other. And so if you look at this, it's not just kind of meeting in the middle somewhere. It is one side being willing to enter into the space of the other side and both sides being willing to do that, a, a bit of a death to self, right? To, to listen, to engage. You have to move towards the other, not just to convince. We need to walk in the way of the heart. And today's is status quo and change. And here we are at this point, holding on to these messages, looking to the future in deep appreciation of where we have been led. My sisters and my brothers, listen. The good news is what we are looking for has already been placed within us in and through Christ. And it really is that simple. Let him be reminded that he is not alone. 
Uh, let him be reminded uh, that good and faithful service, well done, is not a call to heaven. It's a call to transition. I want to take a moment to say thank you for leading our community and uh, sharing your heart with us and sharing your love for many years. And your solid teaching and your passion for Christ has rubbed off me and has rubbed off the community, has changed the community in a mighty way. Jason, it has been a gift to work with you and to learn from you for the last decade. You are so important to my family. Your teaching is part of the reason I love to study the Bible. Hey Jason, thank you so much for your time and your service at the heart and for loving our church and loving our community so well. So I want to share this with you, read a, uh, a benediction to you and uh, bless you and your family. Uwiteka akuhe umujisha akurinde. Uwiteka akumurichirishize mumma sohe akujirele neza. Uwiteka akurewe neza akuhama orbe. God give you peace in a new journey. We love you, Jason. And we love you back. We hope you know that. And we love you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Jason. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you.